Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Like always, thank you so much for tuning in again. Man, it feels so good to say that. It feels so good to be back here on YouTube. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like I always have an excuse as to why I'm never on YouTube. Always. But I, <laughs> I promise that 2018 is the year that I'm gonna be consistent on YouTube. So without rambling, I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see and I was actually really shocked at how many requests I got for my favorites of 2017. I thought that it was so like, I mean we're almost done with January but I was really surprised that you guys actually just want me to talk about what my favorite products were and that was really really hard narrowing down my favorite products because you never really think about that. But I have a table full of makeup in front of me and I think that we should just get right into it because it's a lot of stuff. So I'm going to start in order. Foundation, concealer, bronzer, highlighter, blush, and then we'll talk about my favorite eyeshadows, so on and so forth. So without further ado and without dragging this video on, let's jump right into foundations. So the first one that I have to talk about is a drugstore and this has to be my favorite drugstore foundation right now because it's amazing. I love the finish on my skin. I love the color, the color selection. Everything about this is amazing. And my favorite thing about it is the paddle on it. So the application is actually pretty simple just because it just applies really nicely. So you can either go ahead and put this all over your face and blend out. And what I love is that this is a medium coverage so you don't need a lot of this. And I love the price. Honestly, everything about that foundation, if you guys haven't tried it, get on it. Wet n Wild is killing the game. They've come out with a ton of great things, and I highly suggest you guys try that. So the next one that I have, I'm not going to be talking about prices, so I'm actually going to list everything that I talk about down below in the description box, and the prices will be there. So I don't drag on this video because I need to get through this. So the next one that I have here is another drugstore, and this is amazing for the summer. I love this so much during the summer. The other one, I liked it all year round, but this one particularly for summertime was amazing. I'm in the shade 205. Actually, in the Wet n Wild foundation, I'm the shade Golden Beige, and it's like a perfect shade for me. Just a memo. This one's 205, and this is the most dewy, beautiful, luminous foundation. I love it. I love that it doesn't look cakey or too heavy on me. I absolutely love that. So if you guys really are looking for a good, affordable foundation, those two are great options. And let's talk about two a little bit more higher end. And the first one here is this Clinique one. I love this. If you guys are into full coverage foundations, I'm honestly not a big full coverage person, but this is just magic in a bottle. Like it smooths out your face. It looks like you have a filter on your face. And what I love is this big Dofa applicator. Like it's like the Tarte Shape Tape, but like huge. And then you just dot it all over your face, blend it out, and it looks so seamless and beautiful. And I'm in the shade eight, golden neutral. And I love this. This actually, for like a higher end foundation. I think it's only like $28. It's amazing. You guys really, really, really need to try that one. And last but not least, I'm guessing that this has been in everybody's 2017 favorite because it honestly deserves the rave. This is the Fenty foundation and I use this all the time like it's amazing. It is full coverage, but if you use a little bit, it looks natural. I love this. It's matte. So if you're on like the drier side, of, like your skin is dry, put a moisturizing primer or else you're going to feel like the life got sucked out of your face. So definitely do that. I have combo skin, so honestly a little bit of moisturizer and a good primer goes a long way for me. And then this makes my face look so airbrushed and smooth. And I mean, it has 30 shades. Like the range is amazing. Like Rihanna really stepped up the game. She's put a higher bar for all these makeup brands and I love it. Not only is that really great, but the product is amazing and I like the price point. I don't think it's a bad price for what you get. Okay, so that's all I have about foundations. Let's go into concealers. I have two because these are honestly the two that I used. I have used other ones here and there, but I don't like them as much as these two. So a high-end option is obviously the Tarte Shape Tape. I love this so, so, so much. It is a staple to everybody and I mean everybody raves about it. I'm one of those people. I love it. 
I can't use too much because if I use too much it does look cakey on me so a very very small amount goes a long way and I'm in the shade light neutral light medium I'm sorry and this one I use all the time I use this on the days where I'm not wearing a lot of makeup on my no makeup days on the days where I just want to spot like conceal in it's amazing guys seriously this is the wet and wild photo focused concealer and I wear the shade light medium and then I have this one which is medium tawny and I love this one just because it's a closer match to my skin tone and the other one's more highlighting effect this is amazing this is pretty medium to full coverage it's pretty matte and I just love it I think it gives the Tarte Shape Tape a run for its money I really really like this one okay so that's it for face products. So now let's go on to what would be next, which I mean... Aren't they all face products? Oh yeah, you're smart, aren't you? <laughs> My cameraman's being sassy. Um, so let's go on to... Let's do conceal. No, oh my god, really? Highlighters, let's, let's, I've been out of YouTube for so long that I don't know what to talk about next. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is highlighters. I have a couple of liquid highlighters. I have regular highlighters and then I have I sh I highlighter palettes so the first one I have are the liquid so the first one I want to talk about is the Anastasia liquid glow I have all of them but this one is my favorite one and it's Perla this is so beautiful so subtle so natural but you can definitely build it up I really really like these I like the amount you get and then the applicator it's pretty precise so what I do is like I'll dot this all over the, my face where it needs to go and then I'll just buff it out with a beauty blender with my fingertips. It's very simple. I like using this the days that I'm not wearing much makeup. And then this bad boy is the other liquid found liquid highlighter that I want to talk about. And this is everybody's favorite. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And my favorite one is Sunlight. I have all of them. Every time they release one, I have to buy it because they're so amazing. Like, they're expensive, but you get a good amount. And the quality of the product is insane. This is like liquid metal. I love how intensely pigmented. Like, one... <laughs> one drop of this and then you just smudge it out and it's crazy like crazy crazy pigmented i hope my ring light's not washing it out but it's beautiful and like i said my favorite one is in sunlight so definitely check this out i think you guys are gonna love it as much as i do i'm pretty sure you will so the next one are just highlighter singles i have two the high-end one i want to talk about is so near and dear to my heart i wear this all the time and it's the desi and katie collection with dose of colors and this is fuego and guys this is fuego this is amazing i love it from the packaging to the product it is so pigmented and insane this is a swatch of it guys it's stunning i love it so much you guys need this i don't know if it's still in stock but if you can get your hands on it definitely do it's beautiful i wear it all the time and the other one i have to talk about is milani i think mine's broken so this is the strobe light um highlighters that they release there i think there's four of them and they're really really pigmented they're actually so finely milled this is it right here next to fuego and it's beautiful like this gives such a subtle healthy glow to the skin but you can also build it up like if you wet your brush and it gives you such an intense golden look oh i love this so much it catches the sun beautifully on the face i absolutely love it i feel like i'm saying that a lot but i do really 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 love these videos like i really do these videos <laughs> okay so let's talk about bronzers so the first thing I have here before we get into the palettes is the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. This is the Sweetheart Bronzer and it is amazing. What I love the most about this is that it's not matte, but it's also not shimmery. It just gives you such a subtle, kissed, like sun-kissed look and it's so beautiful. Like on the skin, it's seamless. It just glides on and blends out amazingly and you just have this beautiful tan. And it's not just a matte tan, it's like a glow. I love this. This is one of my favorite bronzers by Too Faced. I have to get another one because I just love it so much. And then the other two that I have are the Physici Physician's Formula. It's always so hard to say that. Butter bronzer. And I have mine in bronze. I'm really happy that they released a couple of other colors. I heard for 2018 they're releasing more shades. But the one I have is bronzer. And it's pretty good. I just have to build it up. 
I like the smell of it. It smells like a tropical vacation, but you do have to build this up. This is something that's not going to be like super pigmented, kind of like the Too Faced one. No, you kind of have to build this one up a little bit more. And once you do, you get a really nice color. What I like is that this is so neutral that you can contour or bronze with. I really like that. You can kind of play with it. You have options. And then for blush and bronzer, I love this so much. Either this one or the original one, the Cheek Parade or the Cheekathon it's called. They're both great. I just like this one a little bit more because it has the Hula Light and California. And California was definitely my favorite, favorite blush of 2017. I use this all the time. And what I liked is that I didn't have to purchase the $30 blush alone because it came in this really nice set they're all full size so you get a great great bang for your buck so definitely check this out if you're into the benefit bronzer because I love the hula bronzer I use it all the time definitely another favorite so check this out I think you guys are gonna love it and like I said for the value you get a lot of product okay and last thing that we have here is this. This is the Wet n Wild Cushion Bronzer. And this is part of their cushion line. And I think this is the only shade they have. This has the most beautiful undertone. Like this is one of my favorite liquid bronzers. And what I like is that it's a cushion. So you like pop this bad boy open. It's not cooperating with me right now. Oh gosh. So you pop this bad boy open and then it has a cushion. You dip your brush or your beauty blender in here and then you go straight onto the face and it is amazing. Like it blends out. It doesn't look patchy. It doesn't look streaky. Don't apply it over powder because then it's going to look terrible. But if you do this and then you set it, it's going to look so flawless and it's going to hold all day. I really, really like this. And for the price, I think this is such a great, great purchase. So it's going to look like eternally flawless. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> okay, let's talk about highlighter palettes because these are some of my favorites. Like it was so hard to narrow down to these four, but I finally did and you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys love these as much as I do. So the first one that I have, I recommend it to everybody on Instagram. Whenever anybody recommends a good highlighter palette, this is the first thing I talk about. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dip Palette. This is their glow kit. And guys, I use this nonstop, either as eyeshadow, as highlighter, as inner corner highlight. It doesn't matter, but I'm always reaching for this. This is up front and center on my vanity because I love it so much. The tones are amazing in the winter, in the fall, in the spring, in the summer, whenever. It doesn't matter. And then there's a color in here for everybody. I seriously mix and match. I use this one that's too dark, obviously, as a highlight on my skin tone, but I use it as bronzer. If you guys hear snoring, my dog is in the corner over there and he's passed out and he's snoring really loud. <laughs> this is amazing. You, it's so multifunctional that you can use it for pretty much anything. I love it, love it, love it. And you guys on Instagram probably know I've recommended it to so many people, it's not even funny. So the next one that I have that I've been using a lot, a lot, is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette, and this is the Golden Sands Edition. I just feel like this one fits my skin tone a little bit better, and it's beautiful. The only, only, only thing is I don't really like the cream. So there is a cream and three powders in here, and I don't like the cream, not because it's not good, it's just I haven't found a way to make it work for me personally. It always ends up looking a little bit patchy, so I kind of don't use it, I kind of just leave it alone, and then all the powder gets into it, like there's kick up and it gets into it, so it's kind of messy, I don't really enjoy it. But the shades in here are so beautiful, the powders are perfect perfect the highlighter I use this as blush and it gives you such a luminous glow and then this one the same is on a saucy one when I'm not feeling a matte bronzer I will definitely dip into here and just really lightly brush it on with a big fluffy brush and it looks so beautiful especially for the summer guys you need it okay Two more. So the first one I want to talk about is this Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights collection. I use this nonstop in the beginning of 2017 when it first released. I raved about it. I love it. I still love it. This is one that I actually haven't used in a while, but I did and it's so it's just perfect. It's three shades, but they complement so many skin tones. You can use them as so many different ways. I love mixing and matching. I will dip into all three 
I will just use one. It doesn't matter how you use it, but it's amazing. The quality is amazing. And I really like the colors and they're so soft. They're like butter. They really are amazing. This is just a quick swatch and you can see how pigmented they are, but they're not like super pigmented. They're so finely milled that you can just apply a little bit if you're not wearing a lot of makeup or if you want to go heavy handed, it's going to look amazing guys like this is definitely something that's just a staple i'm not sure if they sell it i think i saw it go on sale during the holiday the holiday time but i'm not sure if it's still there if it is definitely get your hands on it you will not be sorry okay the last thing for the highlighters i want to talk about is this nars palette and this is called blanc this sable i'm sorry i don't speak french so if i butcher that mm, i'm sorry but this is what it looks like. It has three little highlighter shades in here. And this is kind of pricey for the, pro the amount of product you get. But you're definitely paying for the quality. These are so soft, so pigmented, and so, so, so amazing. I use this nonstop. Like, this is just something that... It doesn't enhance anything that you have on your face. Like, if you have texture on your face, it won't enhance it. It kind of just like blurs out the area where you apply it there's no glitter there's no chunkiness it's just luxurious finely milled powder and i love it so if you can splurge a little bit definitely look into this it's amazing the three shades complement so many skin tones are so universal and i love that you can mix and match and play with them and create your own custom shade i love this this is something that is a staple for me and i will repurchase again and again especially this middle shade that i'm about to hit pan on and that kind of hurts my heart because it's perfect it's absolute perfection so now though that we have that out of the way let's talk about eyeshadow palettes and i'm just going to go through them quickly because i'm pretty sure you guys have seen a lot of these so the first one that i have is the sephora pro palette and this is the editorial version I also have the warm one, but this one is definitely my favorite out of the three because they have warm, cool, and then this one. And this is just so fun, bold, loud. It has every color that you could possibly need or imagine or want. It's all in here. So if you're doing very fun looks or you just want to add a little pop of color to the lower lash line, whatever the case may be, this is definitely something that you should have, even if you're not like really big on color this is something that you will reach for eventually and it's so good there is a lot of fallout but honestly i look past it just because it does blend out very nicely and there is a lot a lot a lot of pigmentation it's just perfect you guys really need to look into this especially if you want to have one palette that has a pop of color or a lot of color i think this is the way to go Okay, I have two from ColourPop. These have been my two favorite ones that they released. I have the Yes Please palette and I Think I Love You palette. The I Think I Love You palette is very neutral and it has a lot of metallic shades. And I like this one because I have all the shades that I need for like subtle, but then kind of from a day to night look, you can really play with this and build it up and just make it look very nice or very subtle. And then this one is just, I mean, look at this. These were my tones for 2017. Definitely my tones. I think ColourPop has done such an amazing job with their eyeshadows. I also want to talk about this really quick. This is just their large Z palette that they released. But these were the single eyeshadows that I placed in here. And as you can tell, it's the same tones, same warm tones. But what I want to talk about is the ColourPop single shadows and their eyeshadow palettes. They're so, so good for the price that you're paying. Seriously, you're not sacrificing quality. They're killing it with all these launches that they have. It's like every day they come out with something new, but the quality is always there. I love ColourPop for that. And I just think that it's such a good way to kind of build your makeup collection without breaking the bank. I really, really, really enjoy ColourPop. So anything from ColourPop, their highlighters, their lipsticks, their eyeshadows especially are amazing. Okay, two more eyeshadow things. Eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the Modern Renaissance. Again, I was really, really, really into these like cranberry piece oranges warm tones so this one is something that's up front and center on my vanity Anastasia Beverly Hills is one of my favorite brands so they did such an amazing job the quality of these eyeshadows honestly is amazing I feel like the subculture 
lacked it a little bit but then the prism palette is on par with the modern renaissance and i love yeah he's touching it too because i love this like velvet case it gets so dirty honestly that's the only thing like i keep it in the box and it's still dirty like it drives me insane but the eyeshadows are amazing i hit pan on a couple of them so i had to get a new one and i love it and last but not least we have the huda beauty and this is the rose gold palette i recently got the desert dust palette guys that one is amazing between the two, I think I would go for the Desert Dusk. But this one I did use a lot during 2017, and it's just a staple. I feel like everybody raves about it. Everybody has it. You have every color, the foiled shadows. I don't mind using them with my finger. People like had a lot of problems about it, but honestly, not a problem for me. I think that is a great palette. Very expensive, but if you have $65, why not go for it? It's something that you're definitely going to love and use. And lastly, for the eyes, I have these Stila Magnificent Metal Glitters. And I have all of them because I am obsessed. And I love everything sparkly. But these four are my favorites. I have Smoky Storm, Smoldering Satin, Kidden Karma, and Gold Goddess. And these are perfect for like a quick glitter look without all the fuss and all the mess. No fallout if you use these properly. And they are perfect. And they have a ton of colors. They just released a nice, like a nice selection of like playful colors and like blacks and anything that you need, you have. I got the bronzer, the bronzier ones just because I feel like I've used these a lot more than all the other ones. But these are amazing and they are pretty expensive. Like they're pretty pricey. But I feel like compared to loose glitter, I will pick this any day because I'm really lazy when it comes to glitter. Okay. What do we have here? I now have a basket of little things that we need to talk about. Setting powders. This is so important just because a good setting powder will make your foundation last and keep it locked. And the first one I want to talk about is this Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder and I have the shade Translucent. This is like a filter. If you put this on, your face looks airbrushed. It looks like you're not wearing foundation. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't settle into fine lines. This is a magic powder and I'm so happy I found this. I found this because of Kathleen Lights. Actually watching her videos, she raved about this and I understand why because this is like magic in a little case. I love this. The next one I want to talk about it's a Too Faced Banana Pudding, and this is part of the I Want Candy collection that re they released. And I'm about to hit pan, and I don't know if they still sell it, so I'm kind of freaked out, but I use this every day. I don't think there's been a day since I got it that I haven't used this under my eyes because it gives like the most brightening, beautiful glow without being yellow or without just, without looking weird because sometimes there's like banana powders that don't like look right on me but this is so perfect and my favorite way to go in with this is on a damp beauty blender kind of rub it in and then pat it on the areas that i need to brighten up it's so perfect and it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't crease and it doesn't look weird i love that so much i definitely need a backup pronto because it's so good Okay, brows. I have three brow prod products that I've been using. So I use the, the Brow Wiz, the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I use the shade Ebony. A lot of people ask me what I use on my brows. I use Ebony in this Brow Wiz and the Dip Brow, which is also in Ebony because that's I have black hair and I... I don't know that's just my preference i love these two i use them together when i want a more natural brow i just use the brow ways i think these products are staples everybody uses them everybody loves them anastasia is the queen of brows so those two are absolutely fantastic i stock up and i like keep them in my spare drawer because i always need to have them especially the brow ways because i run out so fast and another one that i fell in love with is the benefit brow pencil and I have the shade of 5. The only thing is that sometimes it's a little bit too warm. And I just feel like I like ebony, the color ebony, a little bit more. So I do want to check out the shade number 6. But this is the Goof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And it's basically the same. The only thing is that this one is more like the brow definer. So it has like that triangle tip. And that's the only difference between these. But I really, really like these. When I apply these, the color doesn't smudge. It doesn't go anywhere. And my brows are placed. And they don't move. So let's talk about mascaras. I have two. 
I have the roller lash, which is a staple, a repurchase. I buy it all the time because it's amazing. It keeps my brows curled, looking amazing, volume and length and everything that you need. It doesn't flake. And then I found this one. Again, Kathleen Lights raves about this, so I tried it out. And this is the Kiko Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara. And you guys need this mascara in your life. Like, she wasn't joking when she said that this is one of the best mascaras I've gone through about five tubes because I use it every single day and it's just perfect. I love how it's like so volumizing and it gives you so much length and then it doesn't flake or like smudge at all. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. This is mascara goals. Okay, almost done. Let's talk about lashes because I use lashes all the time as you guys can tell. Obviously, I'm going to talk about the style that I have on my eyes right now, and that is the Coco Lashes Queen Bees. These are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite lashes. I went to Fame Expo and I bought like a trillion of these because they're so good. Coco Lashes has some amazing lashes and they're super, super affordable. I love these so, so much. And then I have fallen in love with these. These are the Ardell Faux Mink, and these are in the the style 811 these are the most natural lashes you're ever gonna wear but they're so beautiful like they give you like this beautiful sexy cat eye look and they're so natural like they're not like long or crazy and then they just I don't know they just feel luxurious and they look luxurious I love these from the drugstore I think these are a must-have and then setting no oh, wait 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 let's talk about lash glue a lot of people, I don't, I don't know, like lash glue is really important to me because anytime that I wear anything with like latex, my eyes freak out because I guess I'm allergic to latex. I didn't know that up until recently. But the one that I use is the Duo Brush On Adhesive and this one supposedly has no, la no latex and I love it. Seriously, it keeps my lashes in place. This does not play. Like you have to yank them off. Don't put too much of this on because then it's going to be really hard to take your, your lashes off. But it's the one that I wear all the time. I love it so much and I don't know. I have nothing else to say about it. I think that it's something that if your eyes get really itchy once you wear any other glue, that's what I was going through. And once I switched to this, I haven't had that problem. So definitely check that out. And I have two setting sprays. So the first one I have is the Milani Make It Last. I'm almost done with this and I've bought so many. I feel like I've gone through so, so many bottles of this because it's so, so, so good. This will keep your makeup on. It will take the powderiness off your face. It will make your face look so like perfect and airbrushed and it doesn't look like you have like makeup caked on your face. The only thing is the, like the spritzer on this. Like it's, <laughs> it's really rough and I also, I love the smell of it. It smells so fresh. I just, I don't know, I just have to hold it extra far away from my face or else you get like droplets. But this is so, so, so good. Like definitely check this out. And then we have this one. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Spray. I love this just because it does exactly the same as the other one. But the spritz on this is like perfect. Like, yes, like it gives you like a perfect amount and it's so fine and it smells like cucumbers. I really like that. I'm a big person, like I'm big on scents and I love that this one smells like cucumber. It's so like refreshing, especially in the morning, like when I'm leaving and I have to go to work early in the morning. I love how that smells. It's kind of just like a pick me up. Okay, last but not least to conclude this video, I have my lip products and these are just some. I kind of lost others along the way, but 2017 was definitely the year of the lip gloss for me. Like. I was wearing lip gloss all the time. So, I have a couple of my favorites here. The first one is the Vivid Hot Lacquer by Maybelline. And this one is my favorite color, my favorite everything. Like the formula is so good, they're not sticky and they are crazy, crazy, crazy pigmented. And this is the color Unreal. This is so beautiful. You guys know that my perfect color is like a brown nude and this one, is like my dream in a bottle. I love this. This is so good. And this is like a one swipe. You have color on your lips. I love this. And it is a gloss, so you still get that beautiful glossy effect. So the next one I have is the Punch Pop. And this funny story about this is I didn't even know that these existed until Sergio came home with an Ulta bag 
filled with like five of these little guys and I was like what is this like I didn't even know Benefit had launched these these are so amazing like this color is sugar cookie and it is perfect like it's kind of sheer but it still gives you like a your lips but better kind of a color and it's so beautiful not sticky like this go get it like go to your Ulta and get this you will not be sorry I love it the other colors are very fun and like orangey and fuchsias but this one is like the perfect nude I love this so 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 much okay then we have this pixie actually does send me PR so I did get this in the PR and this is their what is this called oh it doesn't have a name on it or a color this one doesn't have a color or a name of the product but basically what it is is on one side you have a lip tint and then on the other side you have lip gloss this is so beautiful it kind of gives you like that I was eating a popsicle and it kind of stained my lips and then you want to go a little glossy so your lips look like extra sexy this is what it this is perfect I like throw this in my purse and I'll wear either side or both together and I just like I feel put together and I just feel like my lips are hydrated and they just look really 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 plump and pretty I love this so much and I think you can find these at Target or if not you can go on the Pixie website this is a must okay one last lip gloss and then we have a liquid lip and this is the dose of colors over the top lip gloss this is the Desi and Katie collection and I think I've raved about it enough all over Instagram because I wear this non-stop like this is one of those things that I can just throw on either alone or on top of another product and it looks absolutely fantastic because there's so much glitter in here that it just makes your lips look beautiful and sub supple and just like I don't know like it catches the light so beautifully that this is just one of those items that you need this is like a staple definitely a staple in your collection it's fantastic and last but not least to conclude this video I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills a lip gloss and this is my favorite 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 shade of 2017 and this is starfish this was part of their holiday launch and this is just perfect like I said I'm always looking for that beautiful brown nude and this is it it's a little bit cool toned a little bit more cool toned than Ashton which I do love and it's just more nude so I can wear this every single day and it's so perfect and fantastic and I love the ABH formula so this is another one that you should definitely look into and that concludes my favorite of 2017 video guys I hope you like it let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite product was if you had any in common with me let me know if you have any questions comments and concerns thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video bye